Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Kalen DeBoer, Alabama, continue to roll on the recruiting trail, landing another commitment in the 2025 cycle, coming from four-star offensive tackle Jackson Lloyd from the state of California. And I'll just start with this. This is one of my favorite offensive tackles in this 2025 cycle. Not only are the physical traits just certainly there. This kid is a three-sport athlete that also plays basketball and baseball. He's 6'7", 290, carries that weight exceptionally well, then has 84-inch wingspan. I mean, this is a guy that checks almost every single trait that you want in an elite offensive tackle, and then he couples all those physical traits with really, really impressive film, and you kind of look at the profile and say, you kind of expect this kid to be really elite in pass protection, which is certainly the case. And then you take a look at the run blocking film and say, this kid is a rogue grader in the run game too, routinely moving bodies off the line of scrimmage, getting to the second level. There are just not a lot of boxes that Jackson Lloyd does not check. And I think this kid not only has a really high floor, like in terms of, I mean, he's going to be in my mind, a multi-year starter for this Alabama program, but I think the ceiling. Yeah, six seven with an 84 inch wingspan is certainly really high as well. And you don't always get prospects that have really high floors, but also have that top 10 NFL draft pick ceiling. I think that's what you get with the guy in Jackson Lloyd. Fired up about this one. Before we get into the film, just want to say thank you to you guys and to the Alabama fans. Been a blast talking this program, breaking down commitments over the last couple of weeks and the amount of support the Alabama fans have shown the boys. Truly does mean a lot. If you guys do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into Jackson Lloyd. And I think you start with just the athlete that Jackson Lloyd is. This is a guy that averages over 15 points on the basketball court. And I kind of dove not really deep into the basketball stuff, but you see the athleticism when he's playing on the hardwood. And that translates to the football field as well. Again, physically checking all the traits that you want. And then the film certainly checks out as well. And I mean, we talked about this a lot with Alabama and college programs in general in the high school recruiting class. These are the kind of bodies you want out of high school, right? It is very hard to address the offensive line in the transfer portal. You want to make sure you're filling up your high school recruiting classes with these kind of kids on the offensive line. You have Jackson Lloyd, Michael Carroll, two of the top offensive linemen, in the 2025 class, Kalen DeBoer doing a phenomenal job establishing the lines of scrimmage with just elite bodies coming out of high school. And we've talked about this. We kind of expected Kalen DeBoer to do a really good job in the offensive skill department, right? When you had as much success with this Washington Huskies program, guys are going to want to come play with you if you're a quarterback or wide receiver. And we've seen him have success. Keelan Russell, Ryan Williams in the 2024 class, He's doing it on the offensive line, too, and I think that is one of the things that you can take away the most is Kalen DeBoer getting it done all over the football field on the recruiting trail. You get into Jackson Lloyd, and again, just really impressive film, and you look at the athletic profile, and you kind of tackle this Moving bodies off the line of scrimmage has a really big imposing frame, can work up to the second level at a high level as well. And there's just not a lot of boxes that a guy like Jackson Lloyd doesn't really check. I mean, you go back to this, I mean, the upper body flexibility, the power in his hands. I mean, just a really functionally strong athlete, four, six, seven, which again is really hard to find these six, seven frames that have the functional athleticism in the explosiveness off the line of scrimmage. Jackson Lloyd shows that. I mean, all over the film, and he does it in a variety of different ways, whether it's down blocking, whether it's getting to the perimeter. This is a, a rep on the defense side of the football where he kind of shows you just the explosion off the line of scrimmage and then goes and just ragdolls the quarterback, just showing a little physical dominance that he has, a little nasty that he has. But then you see him kind of work in, in a variety of different ways. Hey, we're going to get to the second level. Jackson Lloyd getting to the second level in space, really, really impressive stuff. And then you see this play and say, you talk about a 6'7", 300-pound athlete. Now look at Jackson Lloyd get out there, make a play, look to push the ball down the field. He's going to tuck it and run, and this dude can move a little bit. I mean, I just look at him and say, 6'7", 290 pounds with the functional athleticism that Jackson Lloyd has and say, it is really hard to find offensive linemen that check all of these boxes. And a guy like Jackson Lloyd certainly does. I am fired up about this commitment. And you go to the 2025 class, 
for Alabama and say they're all over the board, right? They have one of the best quarterbacks in the country locked in, Keelan Russell. We talked about him extensively, but you scroll down and say doing a really good job all over the football field. And you're going out to California, landing guys like Chuck McDonald, Jackson Lloyd from modern day, going to the state of Texas and getting Keelan Russell. You continue to scroll down and say, I mean, I love Michael Carroll and Jackson Lloyd coming together. I mean, I think that is an elite tackle, an elite guard. And I would expect Alabama to probably grab maybe two or three more offensive linemen, but they've already got two of the top guys. They're trending for a couple other top offensive linemen we knew they would be able to get the offensive skill. I think the question was, can they get the other players and win out on the recruiting trail for these kind of bodies? And Jackson Lloyd certainly was one of those bodies. I think this is a massive commitment for Alabama. Kalen DeBoer are really fired up about what they're doing on the recruiting trail. We all know what Kalen DeBoer can do as a head coach calling plays, developing talent. The question was, can he get it done on the recruiting trail? It looks like Alabama is going to have a bona fide top five class in this 2025 cycle. Massive first year for Kalen DeBoer on the recruiting trail. Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys. We'll cut it there. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.